Hello, and I'm Mr. Ronson. I'm the lead teacher of computer science here at Gillsborough Academy. First question you may have is why would I want my child to choose computing at Gillsborough Academy? Well, computing is a fundamental part of everybody's lives nowadays. And at Gillsborough, we make sure that pupils are well prepared for the changing world. We look at how to use the internet safely, how to have good email etiquette, how to learn the digital skills that they're going to need in the future. We always want pupils to try their best and learn new things at Gillsborough. And we found that computing can actually help people with that. Computing at Gillsborough covers three main areas, computer science, information technology, and digital literacy. Because computing forms a large part of everyone's experience at Gillsborough, we make sure that everyone is as prepared as possible to use computing throughout school. Year seven is a foundation year for us in computing. In this year, we make sure that everyone has a good grounding in computing and computational thinking. With computational thinking, we use that to help build skills and learn how to do problem solving. Computational thinking really means how to break down a problem, think of it in a different way, and how to come up with solutions to that problem. We also spend a lot of time on online safety and looking at how to make sure that your child is as safe as they possibly can be online. We also look at how hardware and software is used on the computers, how things work from the basic input process output point of view, and how to make sure that your child is a confident user of a computer system. We also look at visual programming. So we use Scratch for that. Your child may have had some experience with that program in primary school. It's a fantastic program. We love it and it's very good at learning some of the computing fundamentals. We also then go towards text-based programming after that to show your child the differences between the two approaches. For this, we use Logo. In year eight, we focus on developing for the web. So we look at how to use web technologies and how to build websites. We also look at how to create vector graphics so that students are able to learn how to manipulate images for their own purposes. We look at computer systems, how they are built, how they're put together. We also look at mobile app development so as mobile products are becoming very, very important in the future. And we also look at how to program using the programming language Python. In year nine, we start to go towards some of the more technical topics. We start by looking at networks, how networks are put together, how they work, why networks are important, and this includes the home network to a business network all the way up to the internet. We then look at computer animation and look at how you can use computers to animate. We look at cybersecurity, how to make sure people are safe online, and some of the potential threats people would face when they use computers. We also look at logic and number systems and it show how students can use computer logic to help solve problems. For GCSE Computer Science, we build again on what we do in years eight and nine, and we follow the OCR J277 specification for this. There are two exams, and paper one covers the theory side of computing, such as how to create a system, how data is represented, how networks work, and paper two, covers the programming theory. So how to write an algorithm, how to read an algorithm, how to write a program, how to structure a program, and how to follow logic through the use of things like truth tables. We also do a lot of practical Python programming in the lesson to make sure that your child is as well prepared for designing programs and investigating how things work in a real world situation. As you can see here, this is our roadmap. So we start with system architecture, then we go into data representation, then we go to network connections, then we go to network systems and security, then we go to impact of digital technology, then algorithms, then programming, 
then logic and languages, and then we do a whole unit on recapping and preparing your child for their exam. Computing is a fantastic subject. I love it, but it gives fantastic career opportunities as well. Many, 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 many careers require people to be able to use a computer and understand how it works. And if your child wants to go into anything data related, computing would be a fantastic advantage for them. Thank you so much for your time.